We have had a load of cool stuff happen in Star Citizen over the last seven days. So let's take a look at what's been going on for the week ending the 9th of May 2021. That is a Star Citizen Alpha 3.13.1 open PTU patch that's added some more bits to the universe in preparation for Fleet Week at the end of May. Actually, the 21st of May is when it starts. The Hercules Starlifter, C2 and M2, the big carrier ships, they are in that patch. The Nova Tank, which is also big as there. They can be a bit buggy on the current PTU though. You can make use of ship to station docking. They also reversed the PVE bounty changes, so you can actually get your bounties easier again, um, which is actually a really good thing. They sort of nerfed bounties and now they've um, sorted that out. Uh, there were some tests of Fleet Week, which are going on still over the weekend. Um, so you've got the Expo Hall at New Babbage, which you can visit, but there's also the expanded content too, but they're testing here. I've been able to see a Bengal carrier flying around in the universe and the fleet flying around for Fleet Week, um, but also Tor Javelin's internals. So there's some pretty cool sneak peeks there on my channel if you want to check those out. Inside Star Citizen this week had a sprint report showing updates to our hospitals currently being worked on, gas clouds, new armors, and even some of the habitation platforms at Horizon and Crusader. You can expect a load of this content in Alpha 3.14 towards the end of June. Scanning and radars are also getting some major updates, which we'll see over the next um, couple of quarters. Ping blobs will have more information and data when you scan them. You'll be able to get more data from scans in general. Signatures can be masked by larger ships and Star Citizen Live followed on from this scanning info. The scanning updates won't just be for ships, they'll also be for vehicles and infantry in the future too. The size of the ship components will massively influence the scan range and ability, so smaller ships and vehicles and players will have much smaller ranges than a larger more focused scan ship or a capital ship for example you'll have specific types of scanner as well so you'll have ones for medical gameplay for mining gameplay so they're much more better at doing those sort of tasks but you're also going to be able to share and combine scanning data or otherwise link it for a better overview of a situation but when fleets operate you're going to want to sort of relay that information between ships when you're scouting and things like that we will be able to detect points of interest and valuable and then save the data and sell it that's going to be one of the sort of exploration gameplay um, loops. They have been optimizing HUDs and we might see customization of HUDs in the future. Signatures, electronic warfare, environmental management, cross-section and stealth mechanics are all going to be incredibly important parts of the game in the future. High-powered scanners are getting closer to a target um, may detect if there are small ships masked in a larger group signature there. You will also be able to use co-pilot seats to scan it in 3.14 and the data will be available to other stations on that ship. The monthly reports also came out highlighting lots of updates to AI and behavior, uh, work towards the Gen 12 renderer and Vulcan, new features like inventory, capacitors, uh, new missions, lots on Orison and new gameplay area that they're working on. We also know from the roadmap roundup that Clown and Imperium are working on various ships now. The Vulture, the Hull Sea, the Corsair, the Santokyai, and the Banu Merchantman, or at least this year. Unfortunately, the Plaris has yet to return to the roadmap. However, one of those ships, at least one of those ships, basically Clown and Imperium have implied by pretty much saying uh, that they're going to get out by the end of the year. Now, I think that this is likely to be the Vulture, Hull Sea, and or Corsair. It's very possible that it will be all of them. Um, looking at the roadmap, looks like those are the most likely ships. Um, I was thinking maybe you could have the Banu Merchantman. Yeah, but it's much more likely to be next year the Banu Merchantman because uh, it looks like work runs into uh, beyond December for, for the Merchantman. So we'll have to wait and see. But whatever of those uh, ships, the Vulture, Hull Sea, Corsair, whatever, pretty excited for any of them, all of them. That would be pretty cool. Uh, we had a post of some bits coming later in May as well that haven't previously been mentioned. Later this month, we're getting a Quantum, Quasar, and Virtual AI update. Get an update on Star Citizen's systemic architecture, including the quantum simulation that will drive the universe and some new tools and technology that will enhance and extend the Star Citizen experience directly from Persistent Universe game director Tony Zerovic. This is the quantum simulations update that Cloud Imperium have promised us a little while ago, so really looking forward to that. There's also a Spectrum AMA on the reputation system for Thursday the 13th of May, so this has the community posing questions on Spectrum literally like half an hour before that goes live uh, for devs that are working on those specific systems or within that discipline. So um, if you've got any questions that you want to ask and are worried that you won't be able to ask them on the day, feel free to drop them down in the comments below. I do sort of 
post a load of my own questions, but I take the ideas from a huge range of my viewers and people that I've talked to before sort of building a, a question and then posing it. So, but obviously best thing to do is pose your question on the day if you can. Boom, that's it for this week. Really looking forward to the ramp up towards Fleet Week. Looking forward to that free fly. Looking forward to uh, the sails. Don't know what concept ships we're going to have or, or new straight to flyable ships we're going to have beyond uh, the Hercules C2 and M2. Really cool ships. Uh, and the Nova Tank, obviously coming with 3.13.1. You'll be able to try those for free during Fleet Week as well as with all the other ships that are available at the Expo Hall. Mainly combat orientated. Um, but yeah, there's a load to do as well. So get involved. If you haven't got access to Star Citizen yet, then you are going to be able to access it for free from the 22nd of May uh, until the end of Fleet Week. So uh, make an account. Feel free to use the link below to make an account to get some little bonuses there. But yes, tell me what you think. Are you looking forward to Fleet Week? Are you um, happy with the updates coming to scanning? Are you playing 3.13.1 on the PTU over the weekend? Have you been able to tour the Javelin? Have you been able to mess around with the Bengal Carrier? Has anyone tried to steal either of those ships um, while they're um, doing their thing? Whatever your thoughts, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. Oh, what's this? I just found all your search history online. You filthy boy, buying spaceships and going on ship up. Zin, show a picture of a, like a sexy ship or something. You should have used NordVPN. It's a VPN, obviously, and it has my seal of approval because I chill for them. Use the links below to get a discount and help protect your data, identity, privacy, and to help with online accessibility. Every month we have a ship giveaway for May. It's for a Crusader Hercules Starlifter. It's a big boy cargo and ground vehicle transport ship that you can expect to be added to the game by the end of the month. Just comment on any of my videos made during the month to be in for a chance of winning that. Thank you so much to my channel members who have pressed the join button below my videos and my Patreons as well. Going the extra mile really, really helps the channel. Say thanks for helping the channels in. Thanks for helping the channels in. Consider becoming a channel member or Patreon as well, and maybe you'll get some poorly photoshopped naughty spaceship shots. Oh, saucy. Thanks for watching and all your support.